Oh, my husband's back. <laughs> Heartbreaking. Her husband gave up his car, but the carjackers killed him anyway. A father murdered checking the mail. Tonight, his widow speaking only to CBS2. Our Jermont Terry live with what he's finding out about the investigation. Good evening, Jermont. Good evening, Brad. Many of the murders in Chicago are sharing a common thread. They center around guns, vehicles, and someone trying to take those vehicles by force. Such was the case in Bridgeport when carjackers approached a loving husband and father. Yet despite giving up the SUV, the robbers killed him anyway. Oh, my husband's back. <laughs> Fighting back the tears, Hong Yu Bai struggles to accept the fact her husband, Shui Guan, is gone. It's the worst thing in my life. Her nightmare started Monday when carjackers approached her husband outside their home at 30th and Union. Bai's father knew something was wrong when he drove by and saw police surrounding her husband's white Jeep Cherokee. And my father just called me and said, you better come home. When she arrived, Bai learned the commotion outside her house would leave her family with a huge boy. I just asked him, please tell me his life. He's still alive. They say sorry. They say sorry. I said, please let me to see him. I don't touch him. The investigation reveals as Guam double parked to check the mail, several gunmen pulled up in stolen vehicles demanding his Jeep. He gave up the keys and the Jeep, then backed away. No, they didn't take the car. They don't know how to drive the car. Mad at that fact, the carjackers fired a single shot, leaving the four-year-old without a father. I don't know what the police can do. Across Chicago, carjackings have more than doubled. So far, 1,400 compared to 604 carjackings in all of 2019. This wasn't a carjacking, it was a murder. 11 Ward Alderman Pat Thompson tells me this case, along with the startling stats, proves Chicago needs state and federal help when it comes to gun violence surrounding these crimes. I know a lot of my neighbors and friends all are getting concealed carry. And, uh, you know, this will be like the, the Wild West soon. Everyone's going to have it, and people are going to start using it. And that's what's the scary point. And as police search for the gunman, this widow is forced to have the uncomfortable conversation with their four-year-old son, trying to explain why his dad won't be home. Live outside police headquarters tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Brad? Our heart breaks for her. Thank you, Jermont.